In a media statement, the MVA says out of the nine cases, the actual loss amounts to more than $874,000, with the majority of cases involving medical treatment of individuals who would not otherwise qualify as beneficiaries. According to NAMPA, the statement said four cases have been reported to the police, while five are yet to be reported following preliminary internal investigations. The MVA further indicated the fund was able to save 2.7 million through its internal fraud detection mechanisms and recovered $48,000. Historically, we're specifically attracted to the cash grants, especially the injury grant, as well as payments towards laws of income and laws of support, the statement reads. However, it added due to the fund's resolve to treat people in the shortest possible time, the MVA has seen a surge in medical-related fraud due to evidence that have been tampered with from the scene of the crash. It said the fraudulent cases include making false statements regarding injuries and the nature of the crash to get more access to medical treatment and more payout, as well as concealing accidents facts to avoid limitation to certain benefits and falsification of income statements. The statement further noted that over the years, MVA Fund has invested in detection mechanisms through various risk mitigating strategies including capacity building as well as the claims management systems that assist in this regard and have a significant reduction in fraudulent activities after payment.